In this video, we will go over the Herms gas pilot system. Follow these quick steps to get to your brew day. With the tabletop on the ground and the set screws loosened, place the three legs on the back side of the table and grab the apron. Place two legs into the ends of the apron and slide into the table. Set the last leg through the middle of the apron and into the table. Slide the shelf upside down onto the legs until the legs extend through the shelf bracket about one to one and a half inches. At this point, tighten all the set screws in the table. The caster has a bolt running through it with a rubber outer casing. When the bolt is tightened, the rubber will expand. Once the caster is placed into the leg, tighten the caster bolt to ensure it's securely in place. Find a friend and flip over the table. Peel off that sweet, sweet coating. Install the right riptide to the apron with the half inch hex bolt and quarter inch washer on the outside and close with a nut on the inside. Mount the four bolts and fasteners then run the riptide cord through the grommet on the apron. On the left riptide, leave the bottom left bolt empty for this installation. Install the left riptide with a half inch hex bolt, quarter inch washer on the outside and close with a nut on the inside. Mount the three bolts and fasteners then run the riptide power cord through the grommet on the apron. On the left riptide, install thread sealing tape and a three-way valve to the inlet and outlet. On the right riptide, install thread sealing tape and a three-way valve to the outlet. On the square hole next to the right riptide, use the two and three quarter inch carriage bolt and close with a 5 16 thick washer, half inch P-clip, quarter inch washer, and nut. Angle the P-clips upward for the cables to run through. On the same bolt, place a nut and quarter inch washer halfway down the bolt. Mount the P-clip on the gas manifold to the bolt and close with a quarter inch washer and nut. Use the two and three quarter inch hex bolt with quarter inch washer on the outside of the empty hole on the left riptide. Then use the half inch P-clip, quarter inch washer and close with a nut on the inside. On the same bolt, place a nut and quarter inch washer halfway down the bolt. Mount the P-clip on the gas manifold to the bolt and close with a washer and nut. On the furthest left hole on the apron, place the one inch carriage bolt through the outside and close with a 5 16 thick washer, half inch P-clip, quarter inch washer and nut on the inside. Run the riptide cables through the empty P-clips. Plug the solenoid cable into the solenoid and tighten the screw. Run the cable through the P-clips. Plug the second solenoid cable into the other solenoid and tighten the screw. Run this cable through the P-clips as well.
Mount the quarter 20 nuts on the apron studs with a half inch exposed. Install the spark box to the studs with a quarter 20 nuts. Plug the solenoid cable into the spark box. Secure the controller mount assembly to the table with a two and a quarter hex bolt and close with a quarter inch washer and nut on both the front and back of the table. Mount the gas brew commander controllers to the controller mount assembly with the 5 8 inch Phillips pan head screws through the bottom of the controller mount assembly. Remove the plug on the side of the controllers that touch. Remove the grommet in the controller mount assembly and run all the brew commander cables through the grommet. Run the riptide power cables through the hole in the controller mount assembly and plug into the brew commander controllers. Plug the left Riptide into the left Brew Commander. Plug the right Riptide into the right Brew Commander. Reinstall the grommet. Plug the 120 volt power cable from the Brew Commander into the electrical box on the bottom of the controller mount assembly. Mount the liquid manifold to the center of the apron with the one inch carriage bolt and close with a nut. Assemble the Hellfire burner retaining bars on the four legs of each burner. Install the orifice through the spring, air damper, and screen on the burner venturi. Your accessory kit will come with burner bracket A and burner bracket B. You will need two of each bracket for all burners. Install the brackets as shown with the half inch hex bolt and nut. Torque to 150 inch pounds. Mount the Hellfire burners to the table with a 5 8 inch carriage bolt through the top and close with a washer and nut. Use a 7 16 deep well socket to tighten. Once the burners are mounted, attach the needle valve to the Hellfire burners and tighten. Ensure the needle valves are closed before use. Attach the gas supply line to the needle valve and tighten. Mount the ignition electrode to the left and middle Hellfire burners with a Phillips screwdriver. Measure the ignition electrode to one and a half inches and cut with diagonal or bolt cutters. Once the ignition electrode is cut, bend the tip so it is 3 16 to 1 quarter inch from the burner casting. Ensure that the tip is above a nozzle in the burner casting and also be careful to not break the ceramic on the ignition electrode. Plug the 
plug the IC cable from the Brew Commander into the spark box. Plug the ignition cable into the spark box. Ensure the mash controller and hot liquor tank controllers are plugged into the correct spark box. Install the ground cable to a screw on the spark box and clip onto the lid of a Hellfire burner. Install the temperature sensor bulkhead assembly into the liquid manifold. Install the sensor so the tip is in the worked flow path. Run the probe cable through the hole in the apron. Install the Whirlpool kit to the boil kettle with the linear flow valve and o-ring on the outside and bulkhead fitting on the inside. Once tightened, install the Whirlpool tube with shaft collar into the bulkhead fitting. Install the brumometer to the boil kettle. Remove the dip tube on the mash kettle and place the false bottom into the kettle. Reinstall the dip tube with the false bottom washer and tighten the shaft collar. Install the brumometer into the mash kettle. Install the auto sparge to the top hole in the mash kettle and tighten the nut on the auto sparge. The accessory kit will come with a longer hose and extra float ball for the 20 gallon and one barrel systems. Run the hose through both float balls and attach to the auto sparge. Install the temperature sensor bulkhead assembly to the hot liquor tank. Remove the nuts from the Herms coil and install into the hot liquor tank. Reattach the nuts and tighten. Use the spiral bundling wrap and zip ties to maintain all the loose cables. Install the quick release bracket to the table with the included hardware in the quick release bracket kit. Install the other portion to the Therminator and attach the bracket to the table. Put the quick connects together and place them on the system as shown. Cut the silicone from point to point and clamp the metal pinch clamps with a crimping tool or diagonal cutters. Refer to each manual for individual product information. Now your system is complete and ready for many years of brewing excellent beer 